good late afternoon to you on this uh, Thursday afternoon. Um, I've got a project that I'm building with the uh, amplifier for the uh, boombox project. Boombox project. Also, uh, I got these in the mail today. It's hard to see through that plastic, but there's some volume controls in there. There's 20 of them. They're 50k. Uh, they do match the radio there but they don't match the uh, uh, shaft and things like that so I was going to use them in case but they, they're transistor type so they'll, be, they'll come in handy for other projects I went ahead and they were like $3.99 or something like that wasn't very much expensive and they got here fairly quick too so that was nice uh, anyway like I say I'm going to go ahead and start on this uh, amplifier project and get that built and get that out tested I have everything I need to test that, so let's get to it. Alright, back on this uh, amplifier project. I have all the uh, resistors in place, I do believe. Um, I had one left over. It's 100K. I don't see anywhere on the board. Now there's one place right here, it looks like a resistor would go there but I don't see any lettering or anything like that. They're supposed to be, you know, it tells where they, where they go. Uh, there's a couple of 18 ohm resistors here, a 4.7K here, here, and here, and the rest of them are 100K. So those are all in, soldered, and we will move on to the capacitors next. So we'll bring you back. Okay, now we have all the capacitors in. I say all, I have a capacitor left, which is a, a 104, which is the same as the rest of these. And I still have that one resistor left, that 104, um, I mean 100K, sorry. So, again, I still have that, that space there. And it's saying R1, I don't know if it's talking about R1 as being this. This is the, uh, um, volume control so I don't know if that's what R1 is referring to here but you can plainly see a outline and holes in the, the board right there for uh, something I will have to double check and find a, a res, uh, um, schematic for it I still need to put the LED in I got the diode in I did that too um, these are the speaker jacks over here uh, for the left and the right speaker and here are my uh, amplifier IC um, spots up here along with the heat sinks so those have got to be put in uh, this is the uh, voltage coming in the input voltage and then lastly is the uh, uh, input uh, audio audio input. So I think that's about it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it all together uh, with the exception of the, the ones I have left over. Now on the capacitor, I'm thinking maybe it is a leftover capacitor. I guess maybe the resistor is this leftover. I don't know. But, you know, the uh, way it's sitting up here, it's got to have um, something going. So here's our place for our our uh, power right there, Jack 1, J1. So I'm going to put the LED in next and then probably finish up the rest of it, put the uh, volume control in, things like that. So I'll bring you back. Alright, we're back once again for the final showing. This is complete as far as I know. Um, I have not yet looked at the uh, schematic to see if that uh, other 100k resistor goes in that spot or not. Uh, it went together pretty easy. I was uh, I was uh, good with this. I, I mean, you know, no problems. No big problems. This uh, These two uh, ICs were not the hardest to get into, but you know, they were a little bit hard to line up with the heat sink and everything all at once. 
which is the way I chose to do it. Now a lot of people probably would have put the heat sinks in and or the what he calls it, or something other than the uh, all together like this. A lot of people would put the heat sinks in and then put the transistor in and bolt it up and then solder it in. I I don't know. I just felt this was the easiest way to do it. So that's why I did it that way. <laughs> Anywho, got my volume control hob on. It works nicely. Uh, I'm going to run real quick, and uh, not real quick, but I'll find the uh, schematic for this. I've seen it on the IC station uh, website. So I'll find that and double check that and see if there's uh, however many of them is used. Also, there's a parts list. I can check the parts list and see if it's uh, seven or six or whatever it was that required. And I uh, can go from there. So, All right. I'll bring you back. All right, I did go back and check as I promised I would do. And I found out that that resistor does in fact go in there. So I put it in. So I have it all hooked up now. I have the speakers hooked up over here uh, to the test speakers. This is my audio input from my phone, which is over here. And this line here goes to, you can see that right there, these two alligator clips which if you follow it around connects over here right there and there's 12.8 volts on that line right now the uh, pilot light is lit on the amplifier and if we crank it up a little bit don't hear anything Let's see where our phone's doing maybe I've turned the music off yeah I did Eh, let's try it again. Oh yeah, both speakers are working. Seems to be working pretty darn good. That's not even halfway up. That's halfway up. Alright, there you can see it does work. Works rather well. Uh, the reason, One of the reasons I wanted to hook this up to find out what kind of amperage it draws. It doesn't look like it's drawing much. See what it does in a higher volume. Alright, at uh, half volume it draws about 0.25 amps, about a quarter of an amp. So that's not too bad. Um, I know this uh, booster amp that I have coming is going to draw a little bit more than that, I'm sure. So, anywho, now this uh, extra capacitor is just that, an extra capacitor. There's no place to put it, number one. And number two, it says there's only four required for the kit, and I've got four in there. So, that uh, is good. That's real good. So... I uh trying to crank that down there go twelve. Alright. That's still got plenty of volume I think. Yeah. You can hear it does work, and I'm very pleased with the uh, results. Um, sounds really good. I noticed uh, Carl had left a 
review on Amazon for this. I didn't really realize that he had built this, but I guess he had. So uh, I probably watched the video. In fact, I'm sure I did. It's back in March, and I I have uh, I have no memory at all. So not surprising that I didn't remember it. Uh, anywho, there you go. Uh, I've got the amperage turned down or the uh, voltage down to 12.4 now drawing uh, 0.06 amps so that's basically 60 milliamps um, that's gonna do it you guys uh, I'm gonna take this to the other camera close it out but uh, that's gonna do the uh, build hope you've enjoyed it all right now you've heard the uh, amplifier working and it does work, I'm sure you'll agree. Now these speakers that I've got are not the best speakers, so you can't expect too much out of them, but uh, sitting where I'm sitting, I know the camera audio is not gonna do it justice. It sounds as good, real good. And I think Carl will attest to the same thing. Plenty of bass to it, and uh, I think it sounded really good. So, but once this thing is fed by the, uh, um, MP3 decoder with the EQ set should be good, really good. And like I said, I'll have the subwoofer on there and this thing should rock pretty good. <laughs> so that's my hope anyway. All right, you guys, uh, it is uh, sometime, 717 looks like. So you guys have a pleasant evening. Uh, thank you for watching and we will See you.